Hey everyone, I want to take this time to introduce you guys to liquid nitrogen ultra low freezers. As you can see here, we have liquid nitrogen tanks. This would be the freezer as well as that one back there. And these are the controllers. The controllers only adjust the level of liquid nitrogen in the freezer. As we come over, I can lift it up and you can see there's a bunch of smoke that comes out of there. That is the boil off of the liquid nitrogen. Unlike regular freezers, these units here rely on an endothermic reaction from the boil off of the nitrogen which absorbs a massive amount of heat and that is why they are ultra low freezers. You can see here the temperature on this guy is 100 and negative 5.6 degrees C. That is crazy cold guys. And this freezer here we have negative 187.3 degrees C. Very cold. So what happens on these guys is sometimes they will have an alarm condition. And I want you to take a look over here. You can see that we have a fill and alarm. We have some control buttons over here. So what you need to do is if this guy is flashing fill and alarm, you're going to come over here and you're going to hit fill start. It's going to automatically dispense a certain amount of liquid nitrogen into the freezer and you have a fill stop but you don't have to actually press that it will time out itself when it gets up to a certain level you can see here here we have 9.5 inches of liquid nitrogen currently in this freezer now the thing to remember is that these guys don't boil off quite so quickly it will normally go through about an inch to two inches worth of liquid nitrogen per day as long as the covers are left on so that's not so bad one of the things you also have to pay attention to is your liquid nitrogen tank. You can see that they got various labels on there, like this one says pressure building. This one here says liquid. This here is the hose which supplies the freezer. Now notice how it's got this unusual shroud on it. That is only to partially protect you. When this guy is dispensing liquid nitrogen, this guy will get so cold it will instantly frost all the humidity in the air. And this room here is a controlled environment. So there's already a low amount of humidity in the air. So you can take a look here. It's at about 20 PSI on this tank. And this tank here, about 20 PSI. So on these tanks, you'll see a closed circuit. It comes out of the center, goes over to a regulator, and goes back into the center. And it's got a green knob. See on this tank here? Goes out, goes to a green knob, comes back, and goes in. What this guy does is it builds pressure inside the tank. And the way it does that is it circulates some of the liquid nitrogen and it sprays it inside the tank, which makes it expand and the expansion is what gives you tank pressure. So if you come over here on one of these controllers and you see it saying fill an alarm and it says it, it cannot fill, the next step is to go over to your cylinder and check your pressure. It should be sitting around 20 PSI. You can do a fill with as little as 12 to 15 PSI but I've been in this room and I've seen where this needle is completely buried to zero PSI. So the next thing that you have to do is open this guy right here. And you will hear hear that sound? That sound is coming from right here. Now what happens is it's designed to only get up to 20 PSI. As I open up the pressure builder right here, 
it builds up too much pressure inside the cylinder and it has to vent, which is this guy. So if you hear this guy here going off, what that means is your room is either too warm or somebody left this valve right here open. So make sure that this guy's closed. This tank is very similar. See the green knob for pressure building. This is your master knob to allow dispense down to your freezer. This controller here, you can see start fill, stop fill. All you normally have to do is hit start fill and you are good. If you see the level, I've got 16.6 .6 inches and you can see my usage is 1.5 inches per day. So that's actually pretty good. Now liquid nitrogen is extremely dangerous. It will cause instant hypothermia and tissue damage. If you touch this hose or if you touch this hose over here, which is your recirculation, while it's cold, it will instantly adhere your skin to the tube because it's so cold. Do not touch these hoses and use proper PPE. Proper PPE are going to be ultra low gloves and face shield. So remember guys, if these things are thrown in error that say that they need to be filled, what you're supposed to do is hit start fill and allow it to fill on its own. It will automatically time out and shut off and that is the end of the fill. If it cannot fill, it's because either your cylinder pressure is too low to which you adjust this knob here until your gauge reads 20 PSI or the level in your cylinder is too low. These guys right here are your level of the liquid nitrogen in the cylinder. You can see your level gauge right there. It's full, absolutely full. If your cylinder is out, you call air gas and they will come out and bring you a replacement cylinder. There's no repairs that can be done on this item. This guy here is under contract. This guy here is under contract. If there's an issue with this device and the temperature is starting to rise, you can either relocate the goods inside it to another ultra low or to a compressor based ultra low. So that guys is an overview of your nitrogen based ultra low freezers. If your freezer is giving you critical errors after A, you verified that the cylinder has nitrogen and you've opened up the green valve and you've tried to establish a pressure inside the cylinder, if you get at least 10 to 15 PSI, you should normally be able to hit the fill start and fill your freezer. If it still gives you an error, you either have to A, call air gas and have them bring you out a replacement nitrogen cylinder, or B, immediately call Biomed and we will dispatch the vendor that we contract repair of the freezer.